Much thanks to Kevin uh, McHale for uh, wearing the mic. Uh, Daryl Morey, the Rockets GM, tweeting that the best part of being at a TNT game live is it's easy to avoid Charles spewing misinformed bias vitriol disguised as entertainment. <laughs> I, I have a feeling Daryl wasn't very kind of you describing Houston as a bad defensive team. In fact, you said worst in the league defensive team. Other <laughs> teams is going to make the playoffs. They're awful defensively. But they're, but they're if you look at the metrics on the thing, they're like number five in the league defensively. They're not. That, just because you got good stats doesn't mean you're a good team defense. They're not a good defensive team. They gave up 118 points. No good team gives up 118 points. I'm not worried about Dale Moore. He's one of those idiots who believe in analytics. He went out and got James Harden and got Dwight Howard. They're going to tell me that's analytics. Then he went out and got Trevor Ariza. But uh, then he went out and got Josh Smith. So first of all, I've always believed analytics was crap. And I'm and I you know I never mentioned the Rockets as a legitimate contender because they're not. Uh, and listen, I, I wouldn't know Darrell Moore if he walked in this room right now. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. tell us how you feel about Darrell Moore's comments. Come on, man. And that was very vitriol of you to say. <laughs> I, I, I just tell the truth. Well, I, I think the one thing that you know, <laughs> there is something. There's something about analytics. However, your analytics can change over the course of a year by how you play different people and how guys improve. So the improvement of your team also dictates your an analytics. When I first came into the NBA, my first five years in the, in the league, I took 82 threes. In five years, I only took 82 three-point shots. Is after that, I took... It? Okay. After, after the fifth year, I took... 82 and probably 40 games when I got to the Rockets. It was because of what it is. But if you looked at my analytics, you said, well, this guy's not a three-point shooter. But I became a three-point shooter because I had a big beast mode in the middle that drove two men. So I'm like, okay, I'll stand out here and shoot, start shooting threes. So if that's why analytics, analytics don't work. Well, that's that's why analytics, no, that's it show it and analytics don't, don't work, work, work at all. It's, crap. it's yeah, just a crap to, to some nothing. people who were really smart made up to try to get in the game because they had no talent. Because they had no talent to be able to play. I agree with so, you on that, Chuck. So smart guys wanted to fit in. So they made up a term called analytics. Analytics don't work. What analytics did the Miami Heat have? What analytics did the Chicago Bulls have? What analytics do the Spurs have? They have the best players. They have coaching staffs who make players better. And like I say, the Rockets sucked for a long time. So they went out and paid uh, James Harden a lot of money. They got better. Then they went on and got Dwight Howard. They got better. They had Chandler Parsons. And no, this year they went on and got Ariza. The NBA is about talent. All these guys who run these organizations who talk about analytics, they have one thing in common. They're a bunch of guys who ain't never played the game and they never got the girls in high school and they just want to get <laughs> in the game. No, <laughs> you know what I cannot wait for, Chuck? Oh, they never got the girls in high school. You know what I cannot I wait? It. I love the prom well, date was whack. They're not the, they could no good to go to the prom. This, oh, this, this, is, this is a true story. On Friday, on Friday of All-Star Week,